cut off in YouTube again. Uh, you probably I'm, didn't to tell people that this is Genesis or Genesis isn't. It being interrupted <laughs> by Mike Ailes. That's me. Uh, and also my usual co-host and good buddy Joe Drilling is here. Hello, people, and I have got a treat for you, Eric Allen. I'm really week. looking forward to it. That's Eric Stephen Allen this week. Yes, sorry, uh, Eric Stephen. Yeah, I mean, okay. Uh, did you did you lose your memory and now people just call you Stephen because you've lost your you've got a memory loss and that's the only thing you remember? Sure, I'm sure that's Steven. a reference to something X Men related, but fuck if I know anything about the X Men. All right, so yeah, this is Wolverine Adamantium Rage because he's angry and he has adamantium inside of him. That's I right. guess. Uh, let's see. That's I didn't exactly how that works. <laughs> I can turn the music on or off, which is very exciting. Checking out the options here. I would make sure that you I can't have the change the fucking control bindings, which is garbage because the control binding for this game is shit. Hey man, Good thing he's emulating it. You could be slanting my opinion of this game before I even get started. Oh, sorry. There's also no, a I password. Forget so I said anything. Uh, somebody should look up some codes so we can check. Yeah, out we some can. Later we stages. can check. Ooh, out there's a the... files option as well. What is this? With superhumanly, superhumanly, acute senses, mutant healing factor, razor keen. I can scroll left and right, but apparently I can't scroll the text on the screen. I think if you hit like A or C, it scrolls the text. I don't remember. I'm getting all depressed here because I'm seeing that Logan is five foot seven, and everyone thinks he's really short, and that's how tall I am. No, he's. I think he's supposed to be like five foot two in the None comics. The Some of these games take liberties. None of the uh, okay. none of the buttons are scrolling this text, so. Nah, all right, whatever. Oh, okay, up up scrolls the text down. That makes sense. Yep. So, so this game. Who else we got? We got Albert. I don't know who Albert is. He's five. Albert's five. a cyborg clone of Wolverine because reasons. A deadly android replica. It's not Doctor Albert Schweitzer. Terminate no. Wolverine. Uh, what else have we got here? How come he's less tall than Wolverine if he's a clone? He's he's. Shorter and fatter. Well, he's heavier because he's <laughs> a replica. He's an. You get the recessive genes, or he's made out of metal. He's not a clone. Uh, what else have we got here? Blood scream, cyber. He's way into like pretending. Cyber he's is into. Of... Tri... He, he's into tripping on acid. That's his. That's his oh. thing. He looks the, like the sh... level. He looks like it... drunken bum Batman Fitzroy. Yeah, he, yeah, he looks like. Um... I don't know if Cyber was actually created by Rob Liefeld, but he sure fucking looks like it. He looks a lot like that character from Cerebus, who's like uh, the, the cockroach, who goes through all the different <laughs> superhero identities. LCD, who is apparently an anime character. To all appearances, a young girl, LCD is in reality an android, and she's also 200 years old, so if you want to fuck her, it's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> her body is composed not only of microtrips and electronics but of highly volatile plastic explosives. Okay. That's kind of a weird choice. Lurker. Saber She's tooth. supposed to... So actually, That's LCD... That's pretty cool Sabretooth art. LCD actually makes... Uh, is It Shinobi makes the... Um, the the timing element makes sense in this game. When you run out of time, it's because LCD catches up with you, and then she, like, Whoa, hunts you and explodes. look at this fucking picture of Logan. Holy oh. shit. It looks like somebody's got his boot, their boot put, put pressed up against his face. <laughs> so the cutscenes in this game are a lot better than the ones in the Super Nintendo game. Like the ones in the Super Nintendo version look like they were drawn by like a junior high student who's getting like a C in art class. Like they're so bad, it's embarrassing. These actually look like they're like him in the tank floating there and all this stuff, and you're gonna get like a good shot of his claws coming out and stuff that all looks pretty cool and this the super nintendo it just looks it like it seems our mr logan is something shit. more than human snicked more human than human that's our motto here at the tyrell what have i done what has science done i've helped you create a monster it's not a wolverine that's not a, a snake <laughs> Oh god, he's got spikes coming out of him. I'll also, they only they drew two of his abs, but not the bottom ones. He's just smooth <laughs> all the rest of the way down like a Ken doll. He's got a four pack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that part screen of the though, Adamantium is cooler than anything. Movie. That that screen of him screaming oh, with man. the with his four pack is cooler than anything in the Super Nintendo. He's got fucking game. momentum, dude. He's got a shitload of momentum. Every level is like an ice level in this game. Great. Have fun. Wow. Um, 
What are the so controls? we're doing okay. this. Uh, an A jumps. We can do a double jump. Get away from me, little fucking dome robot. Okay, I can kick with the B button. Looks like I can do like a combo kick. Oh no. Okay, and then I can swipe with my other. How do I hit this thing? I can't. You have I to move jump it? and oh, okay. time oh, the hit. Double. Like. Okay, if you if you hit fast enough, you do like a combo, and that'll swipe him. Did you but really you have to sit through that whole intro to play this game? No, but I mean, I want no, to know what's going on. All right, so okay. like, like I have a shitload of moves here. I can do like a cannonball yeah. roll thing. Yeah, you have like a fuckload of moves. Two of them a, are useful. A <laughs> sweep kick. I can do a backhand if I hold up. I can do like an uppercut, like. A, there's like a there's like a leaping claw stab thing like which is like a sort of signature like fireball motion does the move. uppercut thing. Okay, well I mean this is very complicated. Check out the scientist. What is he doing? I like, I like that some scientist in a lab coat is supposed to pose a credible threat to Wolverine. I don't look at that. He looks like a game show host. Also, he's just throwing random things. Is he? Is it? Is that a, like a spoon? What is he throwing at me? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm not sure. All right. It took well, me you three hits timer, to kill oh. that scientist. Must be that was some kind of like special. Uh... Amazing right, okay. super scientist. All right. All right. Hit that switch. Okay, here we go. I need to jump up here. Is this going to go? Yeah, I have to hit the switch again. Okay. So I'm putting Eric through this indignity because uh, Logan hits theaters this week. And of course, I just did an episode of Same Name, Different Game. It's about a, this a documentary game. about everybody's favorite berry tea. Fuck. Yes. Fuck this robot, dude. What? <laughs> Why is it so hard to hit everything? I'm almost dead already. <laughs> because this game was designed by people who suck at designing video games. And the, the this... fucking the backgrounds are a mess. I can't even like if I stand in front of these computers, Wolverine is like camouflage. <laughs> he just blends right so, in, and then there's all kinds of shit in the foreground too. Can I? Can I? Blow I can't walk up these fucking stairs. That hand railing is, is yeah. You OSHA had to jump required. up the stairs. Yeah, okay. you had to jump up the stairs. It's, it's um, but let me blow your mind. Okay. The Super Nintendo version is worse. Okay, great. This is a bad worse game. Worse to play or worse to look at? But all, all of the above. Worse I mean, in every. The Wolverine way. sprite in this game isn't horrible. But no, that's true. The Wolverine sprite isn't terrible. You can't see um, it because there's so much noise in the background and in the foreground that it's a uh, impossible to. Uh, oh my god. Okay. Yeah, who? Yeah, somebody played Super Mario World and was like, "Those ice blocks are pretty cool. Let's make a whole le fucking game that <laughs> plays like that." I can't get over the fact that you have to hit the elevator switch from the correct side to make it work. <laughs> it's so annoying. You can kick it while standing, by the way. Like it, that, that's what your kick have, is good oh, for—is kicking talk. those levers. I like, kind of like like the. This has good bass sound, but the pseudo guitar riff is really obnoxious. Yeah. It, it the music is very like it's like I don't know I didn't find it especially obnoxious but it's not good either. Um, it, it's but this game was designed by Teeny Weeny Games, who okay. uh, you might guess from their name actually specialized in like game um, games. But, you broke up for a yeah. second, but I'm assuming that's what you were saying. It, game Game Boy and Game Gear uh, games. Did they make the so really bad Game Gear X Men game. By any chance? Think so. Let me pull up there. Uh, let's see. Y Signal, which I assume you is for the artist formerly known as Y Signal EY, I'm guessing. You can change your Twitch name now. Yeah, it says, what was with a lot of superhero games in this era trying okay, to I can't, do action look, hold platformer? On. Hold on one second. I can't climb up this ladder. You, I climbed yeah, to you the to top jump. and stop, so I have to jump. Okay. You have to jump Great. at the top of the ladders. Awesome. Uh, he says, confirmed my suspicions that yes, he is indeed the artist formerly known as Y Signal EY. Uh, but he says, what what was with superhero games in this era trying to do action platforming instead of just straight up action? And the answer is, they were lazy. Were popular? Well, platformers were big too, yeah. They were I your go-to like, option for a licensed shit game? Oh, yeah, okay, somebody you... left a comment on the uh, same name, different game episode about like why, you know, why, what was with superhero games, a similar sort of line of questioning. And it's like, in the arcade, there were a lot of just straight up action, like punch or shoot everything that moves. Um, but the home versions were just, you know, I don't know. Bad? Um, well, yeah. You can't say there are not enough moves in this game. There are tons of moves. Yeah, They're like this... All stuck. When I saw those moves, well, I was yeah. like, maybe this game is secretly kind of interesting just because of all the 
the huge variety in offense, but um, the level design is straight out of like Time Cop or Batman Forever or whatever. It's just oh yeah. I mean, I haven't seen a lot of it, obviously, but um, if you can't get so, the first level of your game right, then it's gonna so, be a long thing. Also, when you jump, like you lose momentum really quickly, and he yeah. falls like straight down in a way that's really like, just there's a there's playing a this game just feels thing. bad. Yeah, there's a forward leaping move that like lets you jump a lot further. Like there's some spots where you need to long jump, and it's good for that. Do you have to like be running to do that, or is that like a special? No, no, it's a, it's like a, I think it's like up and jump or something like that. Or is that this remember. is it this uh, like somersault thing I'm doing? No, no, it's it's like a straightforward lunge. Like he lunges forward with his claws out. Um, but I, oh, I can remember. if I push uh, C and B at the same time, I do like a a double backhand front hand slash thing there's a, there is like a huge variety of moves in this game um so on an actual genesis controller i had to like hold my hand in this weird like claw configuration yeah to be able to have access to the jump and claw buttons easily because putting them on a and c is like the worst oh, yeah. fucking thing on a, on a real yeah, genesis you would want, controller you'd think you would want the jump button to be in the middle probably in the middle. i think that's i mean real talk three good. buttons in a row is a pretty shitty controller design it is. Um, it's it depends on what you're trying to do. Like there are games that work fine with it on the Genesis. Yeah, there's games that work fine, but they would be better if you had say four buttons with one you know, two diamond pattern where you can get to them all easily. Yeah. Yeah, but I I feel like X on a Super Nintendo controller is not that, or like A A is like the least accessible oh, button. No. On oh come on. Okay. Is, there, Super is there no controller. way for me to get up there now? No, you have to get up there. <laughs> How am I supposed there's to do There's a switch them? that brings... There's a switch down there that builds the bridge oh, these, again. Oh, these... Okay, great. Um, so... Um, so Teeny Weeny Games was responsible for the uh, NES version of Last Action Hero, the Game Gear version of... And Game... And Game Boy? Game Gear and Game Boy? Of Incredible Crash Dummies. Let me see. No, sorry. Just the Game Gear version of Incredible it's Crash Dummies. Thing, yeah. Wow, that's like the saddest thing I've ever heard you say, Joe. The Game Gear version of <laughs> WWF WrestleMania Steel Cage Challenge. I mean, um, somebody had to shit out all those really bad uh, action platformers for every licensed see. property that existed the, in the, the 80s and 90s. The, the Game Boy and Game Gear versions of Choplifter 3. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Really the funny sure. thing is, the Wolverine sprite itself isn't too bad and has such a huge range of moves that I almost feel like a ROM hacker could maybe turn this into an okay game. Yeah, like changing you'd have to the physics and speeding everything up. Yeah. Some of these old superhero games. Oh, they were also responsible for the Game Gear version of Bartman meets Radioactive Man. Ah, of course. So is this a is a Genesis developer. Game, that, a game Gear that was an game? NES. It was an NES game, and they made the Game Gear port. Why did you love to what? Oh, okay. This is the exploding. Exploding. That's girl. the you ran out of time. Yeah. Oh, there's a you timer. Time, yeah, that down in the lower right. Oh, is that what that is? I'm glad yeah. that the game informed me that there was a timer. That... <laughs> okay, great. This game is not good at informing you of anything. Um. So yeah, so so Teeny Weeny Games has a great pedigree, but actually the developer uh, who was responsible for the Super Nintendo version is a developer that's even worse. Uh, so you have to jump over that thing with the lightning. Or so sorry. Um, if you if you punch the thing that's downstairs, you can blow it up, and that lightning will stop going through the top of that thing, and you can jump over it. What thing? The thing that you're trying to jump over now, where there's that lightning going into it or whatever, I, and you keep I'm getting not, bumped back. So if you go down, so take the elevator back oh, down. I punched my way through that already. Sorry. Did you? Yeah. Maybe it came back when you died. Did it come back? It might have come back when you died. Am I supposed to hit this green thing in the middle? Yeah. The Sigma Mega Man X2 looking thing. That's not... Oh, am I supposed to hit this bottom part? Okay, there we go. Great. Yeah, it's really good to hide a fucking <laughs> important switch in behind a goddamn fucking foreground. This game is garbage, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> I, I told you. <laughs> we'll just... I don't know. I don't like foreground. You, I mean, whatever. We we're in agreement that foreground elements and platformers 
are not necessarily a great idea and should be used mm. sparingly at best. And um, if you're gonna, hide, but it looks so cool. It when doesn't they look cool there. though. No, it doesn't. It, it, it almost never all does. Right. Well, is there a code? I want to skip this stage and see something else. Uh, so if you lose all your lives, you can put in a name in the high score table that will like that I'll unlocks the cheat my, code. Probably have to use my little like cannonball to, to get past this. But, but I yeah, can't. You, it's hard so, not to run into it because of the slippery physics on the running. Yeah. <laughs> I love how every time you get hit, it knocks you back off the platform. Yep. <laughs> oh, this is a great game over screen. Just everybody's just really disappointed. Yeah. So if you put in your name as Hello Murray uh -huh. in the Hello Hello Space Murray M U R R A Y in the high score table, then you'll get a um you get a level select option. I don't think I've ever seen this cheat code built into it's the gonna take high me, score. It's going to take me longer to enter that screen. than. Uh, well, all the passwords are words you have to spell out too. So H E. This is enthralling. So, so what else is going on with the, yeah. this game, Joe? So um, this game, this was when LJN slash Acclaim slash Flying Edge slash whatever the fuck else they did business under. Um, had the Marvel Comics license for you know for like years and years they had that license. They had Marvel Comics, they had WWE, they had, and so they. That's why I, I think the perception of shitty licensed games is entirely the fault of Acclaim and LJN. Honestly, uh, there were like, other companies that were putting out shitty licensed games. There were, but not in the sort of numbers and volume that that Acclaim slash LJN, and the fact that. They had that deal where they could put well, out ten NES the, what's games the a year. M U R R A Y. M U R R A Y. Okay. Yeah. And, and then, then space at the end must be space. Space at the end. Yeah. Um, I um, the wrong way again. So, um, so this game was just another Marvel like, and there were some of them aren't that bad. Like Maximum Carnage isn't bad, and um, Separation Anxiety isn't bad. I yeah, mean, those they're are not okay great, games. but. Yeah, X -Men, they're okay. What's the Super Nintendo one that looks really good? Mutant Apocalypse. Uh, that was Capcom, actually. Yeah, Mutant that game Apocalypse. is actually quite good. Yeah. Um, and the Genesis Sega developed uh, X Men games are pretty good, too. Yeah. But they were responsible for, like, Spider Man X Men, which I also did an episode of Same Name, Different is that Game the on. NES one? Uh, no, that's um, Super NES and Genesis. Something. What's the they were also responsible for all those shitty. Sp there's a really bad Wolverine NES, game though. for the NES, too. Yep, they were responsible for that, and the really terrible X-Men game for the NES. They were, you know, those were all published by LJN. Extra help. Level uh, selector. Y-Signal y says uh, Maximum level, Carnage. Forest level, Dream level, Cyber level. Oh, there's a lava level. That sounds like fun with these controls. Let's um, see how bad the snow level is. Y-Signal <laughs> says Maximum Carnage at least had a cheesy rock soundtrack. Uh, yeah, they basically just like ripped off a bunch of, yeah, classic rock like like yeah. the Most Mob the, Rules green, by Black Sabbath jelly. is in. It did the soundtrack for that game? Oh no, that's right. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Was that so? Wait, is that is that Maximum Carnage or Separation Anxiety that has like Mob Rules by Black I Sabbath? It's it just like I mean, it, I mean, I wouldn't the... <laughs> put it past Green Jelly to. Uh, oh shit! Okay, now this is just a floating machine gun, and I still can't hit it because the. I have yeah, all these right, moves, range. but I don't have like a high range attack. Ugh, this no, is you don't. So bad. Uh, why signal says some, I've already hit this thing like four times and it's not dead yet. Yeah, the, all these flying little fucking probe droids are the worst thing. Uh, why signal says green jelly? Uh, so yeah, um, green. If you don't remember green jelly or green Whoa. jello, they were uh, they were uh, originally they were pitched as like a music video band, the world's first video band. All their songs had videos, Just um, and I think they were mountains intestines right through its little butthole. Right. I think Green Jelly was best known for the Three Little Pigs and the accompanying claymation music video yeah. that went along with it. Uh, oh so yeah, I would just God, YouTube the that. This thing is so bad. Holy shit! Um, I would I would YouTube Green Jello Three Little Pigs, and uh, you'll you'll know what, what we're talking about. Basically, they were like a middle of the road sort of like s s sloppy instrumental rock band. Kind of, they weren't even an instrumental band though. They had a singer. Um, they yeah, they were like a sort of sloppy like not even really a metal band like a 
rock band um, that probably wouldn't have been oh God, very I noteworthy if not for their videos. Shins like 40 times and he's still alive. <laughs> okay, now I can climb. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, both of these games like load Wolverine up with with different moves, but like very few of them are actually useful. Which is well, they, all the attacks appear to have basically the same range. Like, yeah. the only one that has extra range is that uh, low kick, and it doesn't do any damage. Right. I also don't know how to get out of this hole. Unless did I go to the wrong... No, I went the... I don't know. I think you went the right way. I, th I think I did. But I'm not climbing did... up this wall like I was the other ones. Yeah. Okay, I have to hit... I have to use the claw attack on the wall to climb. Yeah, climbing the wall is it's a pain in the ass in this one. I don't... In, in the Super Nintendo version, you just can't use your claws in the air at all, because pushing the button just makes... You not can, near a wall. You can you just jump, like jump there, and that was oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. I jump here, and then I just land on a thing that doesn't look like it should be a. That doesn't look it's like not a even platform. a platform. It's just like part of the. It's nothing. There's nothing there. Oh shit. Found some health it, though. It's. So <laughs> I can't weird. move. It's so slippery. People at home, make sure you stay tuned to hear what the verdict is on what this game is. <laughs> <laughs> this game Genesis uh, or Genesis isn't worth a shit. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> oh man. God. Let's uh, let's uh, reset. Let's find find let's find some codes. Uh, yeah, but you, yeah, you're using the carnage, code. The only maximum code. Carnage is arguably like uh, Arguably the best beat em up on the Super Nintendo, which isn't saying a lot because the Super Nintendo, despite having a giant pile of beat em ups, most of them are pretty middle of the road. Like, there aren't any really great I, ones. I would actually disagree with that. Not that there are not, I don't think there are a lot of great ones, but I, I don't think Maxim, Maximum Carnage is only one player, which I, th I think hurts it right. in the same way that Batman a, Returns for is one, hurt by one that. One player beat em ups, it's among the best of them. Yeah, but like, I, I like Turtles in Time is definitely better than fucking Maximum Carnage. I mean, come on. Uh, yeah, multiplayer it is. Um, and like, I, I like Super Double Dragon more. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I Maximum really Carnage isn't, isn't bad. But again, and Separation I, like, Anxiety isn't really right, bad either. Single, single player, right. The fact that it lacks multiplayer hurts a lot, but um, like Final Fight 3 is okay, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Final and Fight. Actually, actually, the Final... Super Nintendo Battletoads version game is actually kind of fun too. If you play it multiplayer, it's the. It's Didn't we just get really frustrated? Didn't it we has play a that? Speeder bike level in it, which really sucks, but uh, it's it's okay. I I don't know. I like that game okay, but I could tell that you weren't having any fun, so <laughs> uh, we didn't. Play we kept it like player. falling off of shit and like. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm not even playing this game. I'm just looking at. <laughs> <laughs> the all the only code is the one. I mean, there's passwords, but you have a level select like in there already. So, uh, but I there's no. It. It yeah, but it looks like it's still. It looks is like it still if you there? just. Yeah, it looks like it's still in there. Because okay. it's that name is still on the high score table. Because you st if you did a soft reset, it should okay. s stick in there. Um, but yeah, Bits is the team that did the Super Nintendo. Excuse me, the Super Nintendo version of this. And um, they're just like, they're one of the worst studios that ever existed in video games. I don't know how any of those people got jobs making video games, because everything they put no out in here for you. was like borderline on playable garbage. Like, uh, let's go to the dream level. I'm sure, this is uh, it's like the, the dream the level is Department H. <laughs> The dream level is is rough. <laughs> Somebody farted and Wolverine is not enjoying it. <laughs> Outside New York. <laughs> Pretty specific location. <laughs> Cyber Wolverine wants to uh, get in a chat room and get a little bit of digital loving with his new best friend, this big blue blob. <laughs> Shitty bum Batman and Wolverine are gonna uh, RP is uh, I don't know <laughs> two, a elks, two elks in heat and it's gonna be super hot. God. 
So now you're tripping Whoa. balls, okay. and you think you're on the moon, the I guess. In the background. I guess that's yeah. supposed to be Cyber's face in the background. Yeah, I think so. But it does look like the tick. What well, was worth uh, coming here. <laughs> it, the, look, it's the same fucking enemy. It's just, it has a slightly different shape. Oh, no, it lands now. It's a little bit different. Two, three, four, five, six. Six, six, seven, <laughs> seven hits to kill that little guy that's as tall as uh, Wolverine's knees. Yep. No part of anything that I have seen tonight looked fun. No, this game's not fun. It's it's not even bad fun like uh, Dinosaurs for Hire was. It's Does just... Dinosaurs for Hire seem like it was legit, like de not great, but like a decent middle yeah, of the road? Yeah, uh... it's total. It's it is more fun than it is good, but it's still pretty fun. This this game's very bad. Yeah, this game sucks. Okay. Uh, all right, let's we'll reset and check out one more level, I guess. Yeah, why not? Uh, oh man, woof. Maybe we can get some more of those hot cutscenes. <clears throat> is there? Uh, is does it tell the story in the manual? Uh, I don't know. Because, Probably. Like, obviously there's that timer and I was killed when that little girl hugged me and exploded, but there was no setup for that in the uh, in the opening no. cutscene. Like, there was no indication no. that, like I said, that there was a timer in the first place. That's kind of creepy, by the way, being followed by a little tiny exploding girl. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, Alright, let's we'll go to the level selector. Big robot level. Dungeon, <laughs> dungeon level. <laughs> Uh, let's just go right to the end. Let's see what's underneath, uh, New York. The Nothing inner circle good. crumbles. Must be I've gone and killed all the, uh, the various bad guys that... that were in the, uh, that roster of, uh, characters. So apparently Teeny Weeny Games ported Discworld to the PlayStation. Remember that Discworld point-and-click game? Yeah, really that, early. that game's actually pretty good. Yeah, apparently. Oh, yeah. Looks like. Paul was ear. Apparently, this game is set in New York, London. England. Yeah. <laughs> of course, there's a flying enemy, and there's no efficient way to deal with it. Nope, of course not. Can you just ignore? She's just kind of going back and forth. I guess I could just try to. Oh, I get hit by. There's a little tiny spark on one of those wires that hit me and did a bunch of damage. Take out the... T Look! I found it! I found the uh, the sprite that describes this game. Did you see it? Mm, not yet. There it is. I'm bringing this with me. What is this game? <laughs> Tr <laughs> Trash. Trash. I do appreciate that I can uh, take these trash cans with me for no discernible reason, but... This is really the best way to play this game. Oh, I can't get past that. It doesn't seem like there's any reason to fight this flying woman. No, there isn't. I thought it was maybe like a mini boss or something, but uh Nope, you can just go in the door. Okay, now there's green slime shooting out at me from that place. So you have to kick the valve. Okay. That just turns off the one up top. Yeah. Jump and claw. Alright, I hate this game, Joe. I hate it. It's yeah, very bad. I still don't sucks. know if it's worse if it's worse than that um, Little Mermaid game. At least I can like point to the variety of moves and stuff and say, well there's something interesting about this. Whereas that Little Mermaid game was made for children and uh, had no interesting anything, but this is uh, it's a bad game. This game Genesis isn't very good. Uh, I kind of hate no. watching you play it. Yeah. <laughs> I get killed by an alligator. There was an alligator. There's an alligator in this game. Five stars. Five stars for the alligator. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm, Genesis I'm is gonna, a piece of crap. I'm gonna stop yeah. playing Wolverine Adamantium Rage now. Yeah. Before you get put into an Adamantium Rage, yeah. which is a joke that I whiffed on in the episode of Same Name Different Game. Like after the fact, I was like, wow, I really should have. 
I'm so made mad. a joke I about mean, how playing this yeah. just puts me in an adamantium rage. But if I wanted to be a proper YouTube personality, I'd like get really angry. But it's just it's just bad. It's not fun. You're not no, angry, just disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not mad, teeny. I'm not games. even that disappointed, disappointed. really, because my expectations weren't very high. Since <laughs> it's a 16-bit licensed X-Men related game, so it was probably always going to be bad. But uh, this is among the worst of those that I've played for sure, and I've played. A lot of them, and they all stink for the most part. So, um, yeah. Anyway, that's uh, Wolverine and Manium Rage. Supposedly, that uh, that 3D action game that came out a few years ago for the uh, Xbox 360 is pretty good. So, if yeah. you're in the mood yeah, for a good Wolverine a game, you can war. totally play that, and uh, it has some real good slicing dudes up effects from what I've seen from watching the Giant Bomb quick look, quick look of it like four years ago. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, don't play this. Don't play this don't game. Play this. It's a bad game. Um, Consider me scared straight. All right. Well, it's good. <laughs> I'm glad, glad that we at least got through to Mike. Um, <laughs> we did. Two, some two of us have played this game, and we <laughs> saved a third guy from. <laughs> yeah. I th he was going to play it, but uh, he's decided not to. So that's good. Um, all right. So yeah, this game Genesis isn't very good. Uh, we'll talk to you next week. Hopefully, something better or something more interesting. Did you see this uppercut? Yep. Totally did an uppercut. <laughs> Bye.